because of my uh, my love of music, I thought I'd pick a pick a little quote here that seemed to make sense. Um, once again, all about testing and trying things out. You know, um, the more you do from an outbound standpoint and testing different campaigns, you know, the little bit got more and more, and then keep trying to get a little bit better. So always trying to improve. Always trying to see what you can do, and always trying to figure out how you can constantly get that feedback loop. So in terms of your outbound activities, you're actually generating some great uh, feedback that you can take back to marketing, take back to sales, and really get a good integrated approach in terms of your uh, account-based marketing and account-based selling activities. Massimo, that's the uh, that's the end of the uh, the slides that I had. Awesome. Thank you, Rick. That was super insightful. I have to admit, I was one of those inbound marketer who was all about yeah. content marketing, content marketing. Yeah. Let's not do outbound. Yeah, well, you know, I thought I actually I wasn't I wasn't saying that specifically about you, but I was uh, I, I know that's your <laughs> I know that's your background too. And the key is not that there's not a place for it. It's just you can't ignore some aspects of the overall marketing mix, right? I mean, it's important yeah. to, to have both, right? I actually doing outbound, uh, I got to, to thinking, but actually content marketing and outbound uh, yeah. should actually work very close together because one empowers the other. I think content marketing, exactly. when done right, has a big branding power, which makes people that will receive the outbound message way yeah. more likely to answer. And also it provides you a lot of content if you want to do outbound for more top of the funnel, middle of the funnel activities yeah. for uh, lead gen and not going directly for a sale. Um, yeah. <clears throat> well, question I mean, for you. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, sorry. I was just going to say, you know, the, the, the key is getting the right piece of content to the right person at the right time in the process, right? And yeah. sometimes sometimes that, that is purely inbound and it's something that's driven on their side. Other times that requires you to be doing that from an outbound standpoint and doing it at a very targeted point in their buying journey. Um, so it's a matter of you know figuring out how both content marketing and outbound can work in conjunction to help move people through the process. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Question for you, while we wait to see, but another question for the yeah. audience, I see there is a fellow guitarist, uh, in the in the comments that is listening right now, uh, <clears throat> my question is: there is a lot of activity in tooling around outbound marketing. In the last period, there is an explosion of new tools that are coming out. Whatever yeah. is for targeting or doing the outbound. Uh, if you if you had to hire someone internally or hire an agency, and you only had to pick one. What is more important in outbound? The capacity of doing great copywriting or technical skills to use all the tools that are out there? Which one would you pick? <laughs> well, uh, that's an interesting question. Um, I think, uh, so maybe I'll answer it in a kind of a, a, a weird sort of way here. Um, I think that sometimes it's tough finding, uh, in terms of content, development and somebody who can write good content and develop good content for your organization. A lot of times that's very tough to find and especially find somebody that can actually do it in the right way where it's talking to your ICP. Um, I think that because, you know, in terms of outbound tools, um, both from a technology standpoint, and even companies like ours that do outbound services, um, a lot of times you might be able to find an outsource partner there that might be able to help you out. There's so many things changing on the technology side that, you can certainly find somebody that can help you in terms of what you're doing in, from, you know, for outbound, um, you know, and then having that internal resource that can help you with the content then to actually support those outbound efforts, I think is really important. So, you know, uh, for me personally, um, finding somebody that's really good at that content piece and able to really develop some great content that can resonate. I mean, I know, I know somebody else is doing a session right now on resonance and finding something that can actually resonate with your ICP and with your target market. Um, is really important because then, you know, once you have the piece of content, then a lot of times the outbound part of it is really just very procedural. It's making sure that you understand that you've got the right process set up. There are different outbound sequences that could be both from a technology standpoint or from, you know, a people standpoint. And it's, uh, you know, once you have the great content and you have a really good handle on your ICP, then it's just a matter of basically plugging it into the system and letting it go. And that's where there are companies, there's technology mm -hmm. vendors, as well as, you know, services firms that can actually do that for you. 
toda alegría, <coughs> being in marketing, <coughs> sorry, in product yeah. as you can guess I get, a certain level of messages on LinkedIn for outsourced development or yeah. SEO link building, I have to admit like the one that were not clearly scripted, outbound messages, played yeah. and played, but that a great <laughs> book at the beginning where the only one yes. that I really read them. I hate, we have I a guess, question I, from my, my pet. My pet peeve is those. I mean, you can tell when you get those LinkedIn messages that are from somebody that they got. It's a template that came from their sales engagement tool. Yeah, and it's a, you get the same one with a few different words, you know, changed here and there, and you get the same one. And the minute that you respond, then all of a sudden you get the, another scripted, you know, piece of content, and that just drives me nuts because there's so much noise out there right now that if you are using outbound as a way to reach your prospects, you need to make sure that you know you. You capitalize on those contacts when you have them because there's you have so many so few opportunities now to engage with prospects that you have to make sure that the content and that the actual engagement is actually working and it's effective. Yeah, absolutely. We have a yeah. question from Douglas Grant. How do you see ABM informing outbound marketing to help it be more effective? Uh, so sorry, I missed the first half of that. How do you see? ABM informing outbound marketing oh, yeah. to help it be more effective. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, and, and I honestly, I think that you know ABM um, is something that we should all be thinking about no matter what. I mean, so a lot of people talk about ABM specific marketing, but for us, you know, over the years, I mean, I started off working for an enterprise software company in the '90s, and we didn't call it ABM, but basically that's what we were doing. We were targeting very specific accounts, and we we're targeting different profiles of accounts and then developing the messaging and the process that made sense for them. So ABM uh, from an outbound standpoint, I think is key because you need to determine, you know, what's your ICP and then do you have very specific account-based messaging that you need to get out there that's bespoke and that is very customized to the, to that target market. And then how do you, and then you can plug that into your outbound sequences and your outbound motion. And of course, then getting that feedback um, from your outbound, especially when you get to the point where you actually have, a live person that's doing having a conversation, getting that feedback back and under actually understanding, you know, is this where's this account at? There's so many different buyers within the buying process, and there's so many demand units within the accounts that you know it's a lot more complex that you can't just leave it up to a technology to get that context. There's a lot of human human work and uh, human interaction that needs to happen, and I think it's really important from the ABM standpoint that when you do use outbound. You're bringing that information back between sales and marketing. And as a team, you're approaching those accounts and then you're actually able to be effective. You get some great feedback and then you can actually change your messaging and change your content depending on what you know about the account. 